everybody. It's the SOBs who love SOV with a couple more SOBs. Uh, so it's myself, Rebecca, uh, along with my co-hosts, Maddie and Slade. Hello. Hello. But we have guests. We have two SOV filmmakers, uh, Bruce Longo. Yo, yo. Over here. And Hugh Gallagher, legendary Whoa. Hugh Gallagher. Um, and they are the team behind the new film, The Diabolical Dr. Fetus. So we had them on to talk about this. So let's just get started. So um, Hugh, uh, this you wrote this a long time ago, correct? Yes, <laughs> long time ago. <laughs> okay, so why is this uh, relevant now? Like, why did you decide to do this now? Uh, I just, I love the story a long time ago. I mean, like I said, back in 87, I think I wrote it. And originally it was just called Dr. Fetus and Flint Mitchell, the guy that was in Gorgasm, he saw it and he said, you should call it the Diabolical Dr. Fetus. And I said, oh, that sounds way better. <laughs> but he, I wrote it and he started putting comedy bits in it. And I took most of them out, but I kept some of them just because they were so demented. I mean, the doctor, when he wants to check if someone's pregnant, he tastes the urine because he has a urine fetish. <laughs> but it's 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 a really crazy movie and i just i don't i don't know i don't i don't want to make it sound like it's a pro-life movie or something like that because it's it's definitely a horror movie and i don't think any pro-lifers are gonna get behind it and go oh yeah let's, let's get behind this movie <laughs> it, it's, yeah. fucked up. it's really messed up yeah for anybody who thinks it might be heavy-handed or yes like trying to make a political statement in any way shape or form i've read the script i'm in the movie actually and it's way more hidden lauder like it's it's out there <laughs> that's like the part of part of ilsa is his cohort is i had a dream about that and i woke up the next day and rewrote the whole script to put her in it but after I did it, I started thinking, this is just like the abominable Dr. Fives because, you know, he has the girl that's never speaks. But this girl, she communicates through text, but she speaks when she does GPS voice. But it's, I don't know, when I thought in my head, this dream, it was weird. It's just a dream. And I thought, wow, that's so weird. I got to put that in there. Hey, modernized it. Speaking of modernizing, though, so this is not going to be shot on video, correct? It's going to be shot in 4K. Okay, so you wrote it, I'm sure, with the intention of it being SOV back in the 80s, um, you know, with what you had at that point in time. How do you think it's going to be a different film, making it now with the equipment that you have? I mean, all my movies, they went from sucky to a little bit better, less than sucky, to <laughs> not so sucky, to almost not sucky. You know, the the... Because, I mean, if you look at gore horror and compare it to, you know, gorgasm, it's a big leap, I think. I mean, there's a lot of camera stuff. There's a lot of effects. There's a lot of, and I just think this is just a, that's the only reason I haven't made a movie is because if I can't make something that's better than the last thing I did, I don't want to make another movie. And this is, this one's going to look really good. It's going to look really good and it's, it's going to be really good. I mean, you read the script. I know it might not be for everybody, but I think it's pretty cool. <laughs> Nothing that we like is. <laughs> that that goes, I think, around the room. <laughs> yeah. It's my idea is like I want to make a movie that no one's ever seen before. I don't want to make a movie where you're sitting there going, "Well, this is going to happen next, and that's going to happen next." And this is I hate those kind of movies because I sit there and do that all the time. I love a movie that like all of a sudden like, "Well, I didn't expect that to happen," you know. And I'm I'm hoping that's what this will be. I think that's what it'll be. Awesome. So, Bruce, you are producing, correct? Uh, um, yeah. How did you get roped into this crazy <laughs> rodeo? <laughs> roped into it? Come on. <laughs> I was making a little pun, a play on words. Come on. Yeah. Um, <laughs> no, I, uh, you know, I started talking to Hugh, I guess, a, a few years ago online. You know, I had um, I'd bought some stuff from his Draculina website. And I think he just like wrote me a message back about my order. And I realized I was like talking to Hugh. And uh, and then when I uh, shot my first movie, uh, Blood Six Psychosis, a lot of the guys in that movie had never seen uh, a shot on video uh, movie before, a lot, some of the actors. So I had the whole like cast and crew over and we watched Gorotica one day because I was like, this is like what I'm trying to do, you know? And uh so I, I told so I told you I did that, you know, and I wanted to show him a copy uh, or 
you know, showing the, the movie as well when it was finished. And um, I don't know, Hugh seemed to appreciate that uh, so much that he uh, had me uh, uh, talk on the the documentary for Garotica that he was making at the time. And then, I don't know, I guess we just sort of stayed in touch. And then, um, I don't know, he just like hit me up one day and he was like, he's like, would you want to help me make this movie? He's like, you seem to like do a lot of work and get it done. Um, and that's just how we started talking about it, I that's guess. what that's what it is is because i kept watching bruce and he's constantly doing something i've never seen him work so, so freaking hard as he does on <laughs> movies and movie promotions and making movies i mean he's constantly doing something and in my head i kept thinking i should contact bruce he could probably help me make this happen and i was thinking that for a couple of weeks and suddenly he emailed me about something oh. i thought well <laughs> this is fate here i gotta contact yeah. him and of course he jumped on it then well uh, luckily he jumped on it then so and he's a driving force behind this you know i i've been a fan of Hugh way before i met him you know i mean um gorotica especially i mean like all his movies but gorotica especially was like you know one of my favorite shot on video movies and um you know for people who don't know it's like you know i've been making modern shot on video movies with old cameras and uh just you know th those old 90s sovs are like my favorite there's diy like punk mentality made films like spoke to me and i so I, I wanted to do something like you um so yeah i mean obviously like the idea of like working together seemed like really fun you know <laughs> i think we're gonna make yeah. something pretty twisted awesome okay so the movie itself uh you want to talk about who's in it what it's about i mean you can kind of guess from the title and i'm guessing <laughs> if you're watching this interview you're at least intrigued enough <laughs> Well, it's about a woman that tries to abort her child but is unsuccessful and she hates her kid and she wants him to know she hates him. And so he has he has a problem. I don't want to give everything away, but yeah. <laughs> he um he ends up becoming a brilliant doctor, not really a doctor, but he knows all the all the medical things and he starts his own abortion clinic in hotel rooms and aborts the children to re re uh revive them to go back and kill the people that aborted them so it gets it gets very violent it's extremely violent it there ends up being a lot of fetuses and they attack an abortion <laughs> clinic and they're going in one part of a woman and coming out of another and it's it's very graphic to say the least and but i mean there's so many little subplots in it too like uh, the wife that wants a baby that her husband's out running around on him and I don't know. There's just a lot of little angles. I like to have a little, lots of little stories, like to all combine to one big climax. And um, so Jessa Flux is in it, which she's kind of in a lot of this stuff. Um, I saw today Morgan Milam and Casper Melted Hair are in it now too. As well, mm -hmm. right? Oh, yeah. And I'm not going to be able to say her name, but I am so freaking excited to work with, or at least work in the same movie with the lady who is she's playing melissa i don't know how to say her name the uh, she on the yeah. yeah she she was in like it she was in lichen colony which is like the movie of the last year that like i could not believe i had never seen like and when i watched it i was like i can't believe i've never seen this this is amazing so yeah Kedrosa, <laughs> she contacted me and was interested and i thought she's not gonna want to be so i sent her the whole script of that because I'm before I used to always just send parts of scripts to people and like you read this and you're okay with that, you know. Yeah. You don't need to know everything else that's going on. <laughs> but I'm trying not to do that this time because I don't want anybody to be in the movie that doesn't want to be in the movie. So I sent her the whole script and she was like, Yeah, I want to do this. I was really shocked. I didn't think she would want to. Where can people find it? Where can people support it? Yeah, de definitely support our Indiegogo. You know, um <clears throat> in the past I've always self-funded uh my own movies which is uh it's you know first of all it's hard to do for for any movie um but for this one yeah we have we have a lot of stars and uh marcus marcus cook running effects and uh yeah you know like you said a lot of new 4k equipment a lot of stuff that's not cheap you know we're renting like actual studios this time stuff that um it's it's more than the stuff I usually produce. So um, we are looking for financial support. You can pre-order the movie now. I assure you we will get it made. I do not 
quit on a movie once I start, <laughs> uh, no matter what. So pre-order, you can pre-order the movie on on DVD, Blu-ray, or VHS on our Indiegogo. You can be depending on how much you want to give us. You know, you could be a producer on the film. You can get Hugh is writing a um, uh, a filming uh, diary um, or journal, or I'm not sure how you call it, but um, uh, on set he'll be taking notes every day, and that'll be released as like a book as as perks, which I think is really cool. There's this movie Combat Shock that did the same thing that I, I really loved reading that. Um, and then uh, and then also Hugh is making like an emergency abortion kit as a. <laughs> Yeah, I, we were trying to think of perks, and I, I, that just kind of came to me. I, I don't know why it came to me. But it seemed like a, a funny idea. We've already sold two of them. Though. We sold one today, so that's great. So that's like you get like a, a broken coat hanger with that, right? <laughs> a bottle of Tylenol. <laughs> you get a, you get a, a face mask, a, a coat hanger, a little hammer to break the glass. Uh, Oh, <laughs> and, and there's a photo that will be from the movie that will be signed and numbered by me and Bruce. So. Nice, nice, nice. So, guys, if you like fucked up stuff, which I know you do, mm. obviously, uh, support the movie. Bruce is going to make sure it gets made. So don't worry about that. <laughs> we'll put the link to the Indiegogo in the comments. Mm -hmm. yeah we we have so many awesome uh actors on this too a lot of like sov legends a lot of like modern underground actors so like yeah as you said you know like jessa and morgan millam and uh kadrosa but then yeah and yourself and then we also have uh yeah casper melted hair who she's been in a bunch of my stuff and a bunch of donald farmer stuff uh we've got um kelly mullen who she was just in this movie, uh, the uh, Pizza Party Massacre, which is another modern SOV movie. Uh, and then we've got, um, yeah, Aaron K. Wood, who starred in Busted Babies with me, and um, uh, Annie Mitchell. Um, yeah, awesome, awesome cast. And then we got, like, yeah, Donald Farmer is going to make it yeah. appear. Uh, another SOV uh, director, uh, Phil Herman. Um, so, like, yeah, if you like that sort of like mix of like, old school sov dudes and like modern like underground like uh like fetish babes like uh this movie has it you know this movie has it all <laughs> like literally it has it all yeah. and, and, yeah, and rick, rick billock too it's gonna be like so fucking gory too with marcus <laughs> around yeah uh and it's a creature feature and me and uh, neither me nor hugh has done a, like a creature movie before so this will be like very different for us yeah, awesome. Rick Billock from Gorgasm will be in it also. Oh, nice. Oh, Rick, Rick, yeah. mm -hmm. as, as an abortion clinic doctor. <laughs> <laughs> and we actually have a nice abortion clinic, too, that we secured. I mean, it's got the waiting room and the two exam rooms and everything. But unfortunately, we need the money to do that. Yeah. So, I mean, we put a $20,000 budget on there. That's not even going to cover it all. Hopefully, that's going to cover a majority of it. But... I mean, there's a lot of stuff that's above and beyond that that I'm just kind of shelling out of my own pocket just to get it done. All right. So support indie horror. Support <laughs> Dr. Fetus. Support indie yeah. horror. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Thank you, guys. Thank you. I can roll.